guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a review of CarPro's new long-term tire coating, Blackout. So in this review, I'm gonna go through the tire preparation, the coating's application, show you how it looks and compares to water-based dressing, do some chemical resistance testing, and also show you guys some short-term real-world durability. And I'm also gonna share some tips I've learned while testing it out to hopefully help you avoid some potential issues and get the best possible results. I'll lastly add here that unlike the box and bottle states, Blackout is not a water-based coating. It's actually solvent-based. CarPro did initially intend on making it water-based, but just wasn't able to get the desired durability. So just disregard the water-based description if you see it on the box and the next round of packaging will correct that from what I've been told. As far as preparation goes, it's quite simple. Just clean the heck out of the tire with a strong alkaline or purpose cleaner or degreaser. I'm using CarPro Multi-X Neat or undiluted with a stiff nylon brush and a lot of elbow grease. Now this first tire I'll be using really isn't all that dirty, but it does have a tire dressing on it. So apart from removing existing dirt and grime, you also want to be extremely thorough in removing any past tire dressings that will cause bonding issues with the coating. So if need be, repeat this cleaning process until the tire is completely clean and free of any past dressings. Just as important, you also want to have the tire completely bone dry after the coating's application. If you don't have blown or compressed air, my advice is to clean the tire the day before, give it a towel dry, and then let it completely dry out overnight. As far as the application goes, apply a generous amount to start with to prime up the applicator. I'd suggest working about a third of the tire at a time, just because you can get a better, more thorough application if you concentrate on an area at a time. Spread the coating over the section, then spend a good couple of minutes working and massaging it in and over all the intricate tire lettering and patterns. In essence, it's really similar to applying any tire dressing in a good, thorough manner. I've divided this tire into three sections, as I'm going to apply one layer in the first section, two layers in the second section, and then CarPro Pearl in the third section, just to show you guys the differences in looks and potential chemical resistance and durability, which we'll get to in a bit. Now layering blackout is recommended if you do want maximum durability. In cooler environments, you should wait up to two hours, and in warmer environments, you can layer it about an hour later. It's also important to note that CarPro doesn't recommend leveling or wiping the coating down, as it will compromise its durability. But just in the section where I applied one layer, I did level the coating down to test that out. And I can say that you are able to achieve a nicer level finish if you do so, and also get more of a matte finish by wiping it down if that's your thing. But as mentioned, this isn't something CarPro recommends. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't especially like this applied blackout coating applicator. I know it looks like it's beautifully curved to apply the coating perfectly, but it's just too specific to a certain tire wall size. And in my experience so far, it tends to leave too many high spots or streaks in the finish. I personally recommend just using your favorite foam or microfiber tire dressing applicator, which I personally got a better finish with, but that's just my opinion and experience. As far as curing times go, you should wait at least 12 hours before driving the vehicle, but it's gonna take more like three to four days before the coating is better cured and I'd say wait at least a week before using any chemicals to clean the tires. We'll have a look at this tire after it's had a full week to cure. 
but what I can say is that blackout definitely looks glossier in the footage with me shining lights on it than it did in person. That's just the way the cameras picked it up. But we'll have a look at how it looks on another tyre soon, which was definitely not as shiny. And I'd say it was more of a satin finish and not as glossy as CarPro Pearl, but definitely richer and blacker if that's your thing. What I've also been told is that the next batch of blackout will apparently by popular demand have a little more gloss to it. But for me personally, I actually like this more satin to mild gloss finish, but I'll be interested to compare the two. Now while you guys have a quick look at me prepping and applying blackout to a daily driver for testing, I want to provide a few tips and hopefully helpful information. Firstly, this is by all accounts a semi-permanent coating. What this means is that if you get it on your car rims, it will strongly bond to the paint or metal and definitely not wipe off once it's cured. And you'll see this on this car wheel. My advice if I was to do it again is to make sure you wipe any residue immediately off the rims or better still apply some masking tape over the outer rim edge to avoid this. I would also advise if you can to take the wheels off the car to apply blackout or at least raise the wheels and rotate them to get better access to the tyres and a more even uniform finish. You need to appreciate that this tyre coating is going to be around for a while whether you like it or not. So it's best not to think of it as a common tyre dressing that you can easily remove, reapply or rectify a bad application or issues. Instead, it's best to think of it as a ceramic coating where you need to get it right the first time and be well prepared to spend a little time doing it right. And for those of you that are interested, I'd say Pearl is definitely more glossy if you don't wipe or level it down. But if you wipe or level down Pearl, then it's probably less glossy than Blackout. So it really depends on your application. I'll lastly note here that a 50ml bottle will probably give you two coats on some large 4x4 tyres or about four coats on a standard car tyre for reference. The next test was seeing how well CarPro Blackout can resist tyre cleaning chemicals which may also give us some insight to how long it should last. Now I wasn't sure at all what to expect as far as chemical resistance goes. So I started a little more gently, firstly using a lighter dilution of an alkaline cleaner with a soft brush to see how it goes. But as you'll see, I then began to use stronger concentrations of my chemicals and even stronger chemicals and a more aggressive brush as I continued to see what it would take to remove or at least start to break down this tire coating. To cut a long story short, I just gave up in the end. No matter what I used or how aggressively I used it, I just couldn't remove or barely break down this coating. And as you'll see, I even used turpentine in the end which is quite an aggressive solvent based cleaner that I don't particularly recommend you use on tyres as it is quite aggressive on rubber. But even then that wasn't able to remove blackout either. Maybe it did slightly start to compromise it and knock down its gloss, but it would probably take a dozen applications to get it off. And as far as one layer versus two layers versus leveling down the coating, I honestly didn't see much of a difference as they all held up extremely well against these chemicals. I'll be honest in saying that I'm not completely sure if this is a good or bad thing, as it is super impressive at just how tough and chemical resistant this tyre coating is, and I've never seen any solvent based tyre dressing that could withstand such chemical abuse. But at the same time, I'm scratching my head thinking, so if I do want to remove it for some reason, how am I going to do that? So that's what I meant earlier on when I said that you really have to think about this tyre coating as a semi-permanent coating as it's definitely not going to come off easily, at least at the start, and will most likely be around for a while. Does it 
The last test here was a short-term durability test. Now the reason I held off on publishing this video earlier was because I did want to at least show you guys how it holds up on a daily driver a little while down the track. This is six weeks and three washes later. I've been using Shine Supply Wise Guy at a one-to-one -one dilution, which is still quite strong for a maintenance tire clean, but I wanted to see how it would resist the chemical as well as the environmental influences over time. You guys can obviously judge these results for yourselves, but what I'll firstly say is that Blackout definitely looks more matte to satin, at least on these tires, though as I've mentioned, I've been told the new batch will have a little more of a satin to gloss finish. What I can also say is that although I've been using a stronger cleaner to maintain them for testing purposes, I almost feel that a far more gentle cleaner and just a good pressure rinse down will probably be enough to maintain them as the dirt seems to come off quite easily. And I'd also say that compared to Carpro Pearl, the tire with blackout seemed to not get quite as dirty overall, which is another positive thing that I've observed. Lastly here, the over wipe residue that got onto the rims hasn't come off after six weeks and three washes. So once again guys, I'd really recommend trying to avoid getting this on your rims as you will need to compound it off. And if you get it on matte painted rims, you may be just stuck with it for quite a while as you shouldn't be polishing matte rims. I'll be honest in saying that I've never been a fan of solvent based tire dressings. Yes, they do last much, much longer than water-based ones, but in my experience so far, they are always a nightmare to remove. They gunk up the tire wall over time, and the tire never looks good underneath or in the long run. I personally would have loved to have seen a water-based tire coating as it was intended to be, but I do understand it's simply difficult to get that durability without solvents. In saying that, I have to say that Blackout doesn't really compare to any other solvent-based tire dressing that I've used because it doesn't have that same greasiness and dirt attracting results. So maybe it is different and not fair to put it in the same solvent-based category. I do like the way it looks, which is quite black and rich without being greasy glossy. And so far it seems to stay quite clean. So I really can't complain with how it's going. But six weeks isn't six months, and I guess time will tell. If you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash CCAD. And thank you everyone for the support so far. It really means a lot. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to show support for this content, and I'll see you guys soon.